Humanoid robots have been around for some time now. They are robots invented to look like humans. In the most basic sense, humanoid robots are created to resemble the human body. Just like human beings, humanoids have a torso, a head, arms, and legs. Sometimes they have a face, eyes, and a mouth, too. However, this is not a generalized standard because some forms of humanoid robots may have only a part or several parts of the body and not the full human package. How much a humanoid robot looks like a human depends on the purpose it has been designed for and the functionality it is expected to have. Humanoid robots are built and used for research and space exploration, personal assistance and caregiving, education and entertainment, search and rescue, manufacturing and maintenance, public relations, and healthcare. For example, a field hospital staffed by robots, the Smart Field Hospital, opened in Wuhan, China in early March. There, humanoid robots that were donated by Cloud Mines Technology, a Silicon Valley company, disinfect, measure temperatures, deliver food and medicine, and entertain medical staff and patients. Robots come in many shapes and sizes, but perhaps the most intriguing, endearing, and acceptable are the ones that resemble us, humans. And in respect to this purpose, we have curated a list of the most amazing humanoid robots. Kime is a humanoid food and beverage serving robot developed by Mako Robotics. It is permanently integrated into a customizable kiosk. Measuring about two square meters with a robotic head and torso, Kime has two intricate arms that can be used to grab and to dispense beverages. The humanoid robot was first tested at petrol stations in Europe and at a Spanish brewery, where it provided 253 services per hour. It can also serve 10 different products and is already being used at events and at fast food service locations like convenience stores and at exclusive bars. The humanoid robot bartender is capable of serving you one beer in 23 seconds. Kime is capable of aligning the glass at right angles for properly pouring the beer and it does it quite fast as it serves approximately 300 glasses per hour. So the next time you're at your favorite kitsch bar, don't be surprised to find a robot serving your favorite cocktail. Imagine talking to a female customer service agent over the phone. She asks for your information, addresses your problems, and then sends you off with a lovely goodbye. There would be no doubt in your mind that you had just spoken to a human being. Well, you could be wrong, and you could be forgiven. Meet Nadine. Nadine can even recognize subjects from previous visits, make eye contact, shake hands, and continue chatting based on previous meetings. Nadine was developed by Kokoro Japan, while her software platform was developed at the Nanyang Technology University in Singapore. She currently works as a customer service agent at AIA Singapore, an insurance company. Nadine was developed using cutting-edge robotics technology to simulate human behavior. She has 3D deft cameras, a microphone, and a webcam to gather visual and audio inputs. Then there are various perception layers that process these inputs to recognize different faces, gestures, emotions, and behavior, and then respond accordingly. Nadine also has inbuilt chatbots that allow her to handle different queries and a memory model that remembers different users and conversations with them. In addition to all this, Nadine can also converse in six languages, English, German, French, Chinese, Hindi, and Japanese. So when you speak with that customer agent with a sonorous voice, think again about who she could be. Unveiled in 2013, Atlas has been described as the world's most dynamic humanoid by its creators. Atlas was built to carry out search and rescue missions and was developed by Boston Dynamics with special funding and supervision from the United States Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. It is a bipedal humanoid robot that can navigate its way through rough terrain and obstacles in its path using its range sensing, stereo vision, and other sensors. Atlas is six feet tall and can perform amazing backflips. It can jump from a platform to another as impressively as a human can. On September 24, 2019, an update video was released in which Atlas was shown performing something similar to a floor routine in gymnastics. 
The humanoid has undergone a lot of changes and updates over the years. Although Atlas was introduced to the world in 2013, it was only in 2017 that its actual powers and capabilities came to light. We believe Atlas will only receive more updates as time proceeds. Sophia is a humanoid robot developed by Hong Kong-based company Hanson Robotics. Sophia was turned on for the first time in February 2016, and after a month she was presented to the world for the first time. Sophia has made history as the first robot ever to be given citizenship of any country. She is a Saudi Arab citizen. She was developed to look like Audrey Hepburn, a famous Hollywood actress. She has appeared in various interviews with the United Nations, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in America, and the British Broadcasting Company. Mr. Hansen, the creator of Sophia, believes that she will be a perfect fit as an old age companion in nursing homes, a crowd manager in large events or parks. Sophia was exclusively designed for helping us with research, education, and entertainment. She can promote and monitor and remember eyes, look people in the eyes, and perform natural discussions through a complete spectrum of facial expressions. One of the most striking features Sophia has, if you ignore her bare scalp, is her beauty. You cannot be ugly if you were modeled after Audrey Hepburn. But while Sophia is beautiful, the open scalp with twinkling lights takes away from her overall beauty. But otherwise, Sophia is worth looking at. And she can confidently say she is the only robot to have spurned Will Smith's advances for a kiss. Engineered Arts, the United Kingdom's leading designer and manufacturer of humanoid entertainment robots, recently unveiled Amica to the internet. The introduction video is brief, but Engineered Arts gave enough information away for the viewer to get a full grasp of what Amica could mean. Amica is, undeniably, the most realistic humanoid robot out there today. The humanoid robot doesn't have much faux skin and musculature apart from what's on its face and hands, but it still manages to be incredibly realistic. Not only are the humanoid robot's movements exceptionally fluid, its face movements also seem totally natural. As for the tech involved, the robot's combination of mechanical limbs and ligaments, actuators, and sensor arrays is cutting edge. The robotics company Engineered Arts has been around since 2005, meaning that it has had 16 years to perfect its humanoid bots. The company's first robot was a mechanical thespian robot for the stage. Amica, however, is somewhat lacking. Engineered Arts makes it clear Amica doesn't use any pure artificial intelligence. And regarding conversations, Amica is essentially a chatbot in a metal chassis. Although Engineered Arts says users can easily talk through the robot remotely. In a recent convention in the United Kingdom that Amica was present, the humanoid robot was being spoken through by a remote controller in the United States. Engineered Arts notes in a newly released video description of an interaction with Amica in which somebody invaded its personal space too much. Indeed, whoever is interacting with Amica in the clip even goes so far as to boop its nose. The facial expression changes in Amica's face in reaction to the invasion were completely outstanding. While the engineered arts robot has cutting edge mechanical limbs and ligaments, actuators, and sensor arrays, it's not going to iRobot the human race anytime soon. The robot maker says that Amica doesn't have anything like pure AI. There are various humanoid robots that are being developed across the world. Scientific estimates state that these humanoids will be made readily available to the general public in line with their suited needs as soon as 2030. This is a reasonable time frame considering the nuances that still need to be ironed out. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Which robot did you find the most attractive? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.